everybody at home, my name is Jessica Rudy. I'm the Vacation Bible School Director and Family Life Coordinator at Zion Lutheran Church in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I hope you enjoy day five. We sure have loved spending these five days of virtual Vacation Bible School with you. Hi everybody, today is Fabulous Friday, day five. We hope you enjoy the videos today. Howdy partner, it's Pastor Jim. Hey, I'm glad you joined us today for Vacation Bible School. It's the last day. <laughs> Amen to that, right? Are you having fun? I sure am. I'm glad you joined us. I bet you're wondering why I dress like this, aren't you, partner? Well, today we're talking about love. And you know, the one who loves me a lot is right here. Look at that. There's my horse called Buck. My horse, Buck, loved me a lot. Look at that. Give me a kiss. Well, we're going to talk about today how if we live for God, we're going to love others. So come on, let's meet my friends who are going to tell you more about what this means because we're focusing on God. And when we focus on God, we're going to journey with Jesus because he started this journey of faith. He's going to end this journey of faith and he's going to be your friend forever. Well, on that note, let's meet Vicar Anna, Pastor Sarah, and Pastor Vicki. Hi, boys and girls. Have you ever baked cookies before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're getting pretty good at it, I, I think. Oh, check out the flour. Woo! Ooh. All right, let me stir that up. How about one of the eggs? eggs? And then a little bit of liquid, or they're going to be really oh, dry. Wait, 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 wait. There's some water. Woo! All right. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. oh. Okay, I'm going to go I'm gonna go to town here. Wait a minute. Are there going to be any chocolate chips in that? Oh. Okay. Lots of chocolate chips. Okay, because chocolate <laughs> chips are the way to my broken heart, you know? I oh. eat a lot of chocolate when I'm feeling sad, so... We'll make sure to put extra in there. Okay. And we'll be sure to save some for me, for you, from you, for you. Who are we making these cookies for? Well, you know, we have already made a bunch, but this batch is going to go to all the firefighters in the area. And they do so much for us. We just want to show them some love and, and show our neighbors how much we appreciate them. So these chocolate chip cookies are going to all the firefighters. That's so cool. They're going to know that God loves them through these. I am sure. But yeah. don't worry. We will save you a couple. Good, because I'm kind of sad and I, I need a you want to know why I'm sad? Why are you so sad? Well, I'm writing a letter to my friend. Um, I can't go visit them right now because of the quarantine. Uh, and the they, quarantine. Oh, and I they actually, it. they can't have anyone else visit them either right oh, now. That's so sad. So they need to know that they're still loved and that I still care about them and that God still cares about them even though they can't have any visitors right now. So yeah. what are you doing? I'm just, I'm writing them a letter and I'm going to send it in the snail mail. They don't have oh. that. That's the post office, by the way. Oh, that's yeah, different. I can't send them a text message or anything because they don't have text messaging oh. right now. Uh -oh. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a good old fashioned letter. Right no, I here. love getting letters. Yeah. It's like getting a hug in a mailbox. Do you put pictures in your letter sometimes? Oh, that's the best. Yeah. Do you think we could send some cookies too? <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, uh, maybe. In a good, take overnight, will you overnight it? Yeah, we there can. There you go. All right, you could probably do that. Yeah. I tried to send a piece of bread one time in the mail, and it didn't turn out so good. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a thought that counts. <laughs> maybe because then, God is love. When we live out that exactly. love, we try crazy things. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I'll just stick pictures of the cookies that you all made in there. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Or maybe I can take one on my phone and print it. That might be that, better. That'll be better. It'll be <laughs> cheaper anyway. <laughs> but it might not taste as good. Oh my. Well, let's see what else we have. Well, I think we need to learn about well, the Bible, Bible story. story. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, today's Bible story is one of the greatest ones of all. It is... The Great Commandment. Mm, that is a good we one. We love this one. Jesus was, was saying, what's the way, the greatest commandment of all? And the first thing he said is, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. Oh, Pastor Jim is showing me love. And love your neighbor as yourself. yourself. Oh, look more love. That's oh, the neighbor. This is our neighbor. This is me. Here's God. But don't forget, like one of the parts that we forget a lot is that you need to love yourself. Because once you love yourself is when you can love, receive love, and then you can love your neighbor. So that's one of the greatest ones ever. And then there's actually another part to our Bible story today. Do tell. The love verse from 1 Corinthians 
You know this one? Mm -hmm. Love is patient. Love is not selfish. It's not boastful. It looks out for others and it treats others with respect. Wouldn't that be cool if everybody lived that way? If we uh, all yes. love everyone like that, can you think of somebody, Pastor Sarah, who you really respect? Oh yeah. Yeah. My dad. Oh. And, and you love him. I love him very much. Mm. More than I love myself, maybe. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> How about you, Bigger Anna? What who do you really love or respect? Hmm. There's a lot of people, and I can't say my dad, because that's <laughs> what Pastor Sarah just said. So I think my two of my pastors that were my pastors before I came to seminary. They taught me what it meant to be a Lutheran and Pastor oh. Pauline and Pastor Eric. And Pastor Pauline was the first lady pastor that I ever knew. Really? Yeah, and I really respect her. To be a lady pastor in the church where ladies haven't always been, women haven't always been allowed to be pastors. And so, yeah, she taught me a lot and I respect her and I love her. It's really neat. Yeah. So she must have really invested in you somehow. Yeah, look at me, I'm here. You are. And lady pastors are cool. They lady are. pastors are cool. Yes. I think mine was my basketball coach in college. And he was a young man, actually. And when I finally realized I didn't want to keep playing basketball, I wanted to help people. So I wanted to coach Special Olympics more than I wanted to play basketball. But I was there to play basketball. And he sat me down and he said, you just need to follow your heart. And if serving others is what you need to do, then that's what you need to do. And really, he was showing me a lot of love to let me walk away from what I was there to do, which was play basketball. And I got to go and really make some great friends. And I always cherished him. His name was Coach Jim. Now I have another Coach Jim. We know how that happens. <laughs> Let's bring Coach Jim back in. Come on, Coach Jim. Come tell us who you really love and respect. Mm. <clears throat> You know, um, there are a lot of people, because I've been around a long time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I love and respect through these ages. But, um, you know, I really love some of the, our aged saints mm -hmm. who have, have um, walked the, the, the journey of faith for so long. And some of them are just so humble and so loving and have such wonderful stories to tell and amazing lives that I really, really love to hear those stories. Mm. And uh, they're some of my favorite people to love. That's an easy one. And I bet we can all agree that all the kids watching are ones that we really love and respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because you all teach us something every day. You teach us how to love when you come running up and give us great big hugs when we see you or when you wave to us. We love all of that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Very much. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what that bottom line is for us today. Got it right here. Go ahead, Pastor Sarah. The bottom line today is you can live for God by loving, loving others. others. So you go out this week, everybody, and show somebody love. It can be big, it can be small, but just remember, when you show them love, they see God in you. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, partner.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder I'm Harper. And I'm Min. And today, we're sailing the high sea. And we're so hungry. Yeah, we need to find land soon so we can get some snacks. And I'm using my spectacular spyglass. Do you see anything? Oh, I see a beautiful dolphin. Can I try? Sure. Come on, land, come on, land. By a tropical fruit island. We're safe! All hands on deck! Ho! Ho! Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, Harper and Manny. Ho! Ho! Looking for land, are you? Hi, Ollie! We just found a tropical fruit island. That's a fun thing to find, it's true. But there's even more looking for you to do. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through, follow me through, ho. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Well, hello, friends. I'm Casey. Welcome to Look and See, the place where we look and we look and we see what's in the Bible. Are you ready to look inside the mystery box and see what we can learn from the Bible today? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, take a look. Ready? One, two, three. Take a look. <gasps> Ooh, it's a mystery picture. I know what we need to do. As we take the pieces off, it will show us what the Bible says is most important. Let's get started. Jesus teaches us what is most important right here in the Bible. Are you ready to see it? We're gonna see it. We're gonna see it. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's Zacchaeus. He didn't have any friends. That's sad. Can you make a sad face? <sighs> but then he met Jesus! Do you think Jesus was his friend? Yes! Jesus was his friend because he loved him! Give yourself a big hug for Jesus' love! <laughs> Let's see what's over here. That's a lot of hungry people! Can you rub your tummy like you're hungry? Good job! These hungry people didn't have food to eat. Who do you think gave them food? Yes! Jesus! Jesus gave them food because he loved them. Give yourself a big hug for Jesus' love. What's in this corner? Oh! <gasps> It's a woman who is different from Jesus. She's getting some water. Do you think he was kind to her, even though she was different? <gasps> yes! Of course! Jesus was kind to her because he loved her. Give yourself a big hug for Jesus' love. One more corner. <gasps> It's Jesus' friend, Peter. Peter wasn't being a very good friend. Do you think Jesus forgave him? Oh, he did! Jesus forgave Peter because he loved him. Give yourself a big hug for Jesus' love. Now, there is one last piece. Drum roll, please. 
Good job. Oh, it's a heart. I get it. These are all ways that Jesus loved people. And Jesus told us the most important thing is for us to love people the way he loves people. Huh. That means it's important to be a friend to people who don't have friends. It's important to share food with people who are hungry. It's important to be kind to people who are different than us. And it's important to forgive people when they do something wrong. Jesus taught us the most important thing is to love people the way he loves us. And we know Jesus loves us a lot because he wants to be our friend forever. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Thanks for watching. Look and see. Bye! <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. We should look for ways to love others. It's something Jesus taught us to do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jesus showed us so many ways to love people. We should love like that too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I know. We should use the spyglass to look for ways to love people. Okay. <laughs> Do you see your neighbor? She looks like she needs to help in her garden. Oh, and then he looks so lonely on the swing all by herself. Hey, let's go! And you should look for ways to love people too. See you guys next time. Bye!
I'm Joni. I'm Jeannie. And we're back with you again for day number five. Our last oh, day together, man. but we've had so much fun. Yeah, this has been fun. All right, so today we're going to learn a Bible verse that I think it's, it's one of my favorites. I like it a lot. So I'm going to say it, and then we're going to review some of the sign before we do it together with sign. Love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Okay, let's review some of those. Love? If we love, done love yet? No, we haven't oh. done love. Hmm. Love is easy. You're going to take your hands, like I showed you safe, but you're going to hug yourself. And love. the love right over your heart. Oh. Hey, we did Jesus. We did God. What about Lord? Lord? Lord is the same way. You do an L, and you do that banner thing again from shoulder to hip. You know, I've also seen it in another way that I like as well, where you do Lord, but then you also point up because he's up there. So when I do Lord, I do Lord. I do Lord, okay? I but you can that. do either way. So, okay, so love the Lord your God. We've already done God with all your heart. So you're putting your hands together is with. You're with somebody. Oh, okay, you're with. connected. That makes sense. And with your heart, you're going to take your... This finger, your middle finger, and touch your heart. Heart. Oh, okay. Heart. All right. All your soul. Your soul, we use the sign for spirit with the soul because it means the same thing. So you're going to pinch your fingers together, then pinch and bring up that spirit. Oh, it's almost like um, a wisp of smoke. Like, yes, oh. I like that. And you know what else? I've learned Holy Spirit, which was holy spirit so now okay with all your spirit so it could be the holy holy spirit or with our spirit right Got it. okay with all your mind that's easy take your finger point at your brain I only have Re the brain. sorry <laughs> that's okay she's being <laughs> silly today i'm being silly i'm sorry okay there we go let's try it all right so i'll i'll Say it, you sign it, and then maybe I'll try to do it with you. Okay, we'll sounds see. good. Okay, ready? Ready. Love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Well, that seemed pretty easy. It was very easy. Okay, maybe I can do it. All yep. right, let's try it together. All right, you ready? I'm ready. <sighs> okay. Love the Lord, your God. With all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Good job. All right. Thanks, everybody, for being with us this week. We really enjoyed signing with you and learning Bible verses. All right. I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer. I'm Joni. I'm Jeannie. Bye. Bye. Welcome back. Wow, here we are on our last day of Vacation Bible School, our last focus prayer session together. And of course, the theme is love. I'm so excited about love. Look at this painting you can make with little hearts, a tree of love that talks about God loving us forever, family loving us forever. I love how the Bible takes us to so many different places and that we've had a whole week of fun stories. Remember, I'm Barbara Debner, and you've been watching The Prayer Time, and you got a chance to hear my friend William sing. He sang that song, Alive, Alive, My Jesus is Alive. I was just listening to it. Sometimes when I listen to a song, I feel like it's a prayer. I'm going to play it again for you so you can hear William's song. And while he's singing, I'm going to place my hand on my heart and say, Yes, Jesus, you're alive. Yes. I'll whisper that while William singing, Alive, Alive, My Jesus is Alive. Here it is. Enjoy. My Jesus is alive, 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 in alleluia, in alleluia. My Jesus is alive. So our story today was a very, very important story about Jesus wasn't it? And like William's song, it reminds us to listen and to see how we can love others. Did Jesus teach us to love people the way bears love honey? No. Did Jesus teach us to love people the way that bees love flowers? No. Did Jesus teach us to love people the way he loves us? Yes. 
Jesus said, the most important thing we can do is love the people in our lives the way he loves us. Jesus loves us a lot because he wants us to be his forever friend. Remember my friend, Ollie? And baby Ollie's here too. We're, they're all here to say goodbye to you today. What does Ollie say? Who wants to be my, who wants to be friends with you forever? Jesus wants to be your forever friend. Who, who wants to be friends with you forever? Jesus wants to be your forever friend. Today in our journal, we're going to write down and talk about all the ways that we can love others. Anytime, anywhere, and in any way. So, before I make the list, though, let's think about things we've been learning. We heard about Jesus um, being kind, using kind words, how he's be, he forgives and he teaches us to be our best. He helps us to love people that are hard to love. Jesus really is the best at loving us. I'm glad God gave us Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Wallagas boys. Thank you, Andrew. Benjamin, for reminding us. I'm glad, too, that God gave us Jesus. So now we need to think about people and the way Jesus loves them. Hmm, do you think Jesus loves your friends? Yes. Let's Oops. Oh, I fell down. Ollie, are you okay? Get back up here, Ollie. Would you like to hear from Ezra's family again? Ezra and, and his family have another message for us. Thank you, Andrew, too, for showing us you and mommy cuddling. Oh, mommy. Hi, everyone. We know that God can teach us to be more like Jesus. I'm like Jesus because when I go outside, when I love others and when I read books. That's so true. Jesus did love others. Jesus did walk around Palestine and is ancient Israel and told people how much God loves them and he showed that love to them. And Jesus also read the Hebrew Bible and he read the Kabbalah and he read all of the scriptures that taught him how to be a better person of faith. I'm Ezra in God helps me listen good to my family. Andrew's right. We can cuddle with our mom, and that's a way to feel love and show love. And thank you, Lene and Ezra and Monique and Vicar Anna, for reminding us all about how glad we are that we have Jesus. We have to live for God by loving others. Can you say that? Let's live for God by loving others. All right, it's time to look at our prayer journal for the very last time. Remember how we were jotting down all these wonderful things? Here are those flowers that someone made for me. And we talked about all the things that God made. God made friends and flying cheetahs and rainbows and flowers and giraffes, trees and daddies and mommies and conductors and chefs, mailmen and teachers. And then we talked about how Jesus teaches us. He teaches us to love others, to be thankful, to help out around the house, to say, I'm sorry, and to say, thank you. He helps us be a good friend. Here are all your names. Should I shout out your name one last time since we won't be together tomorrow? I want to say thank you, God, for putting these friends in our lives. For June and Henry and Genevieve, for Rose and Elaine and Yurik and Louise and Lewis, and Olivia, and Emily, and Wally, and William, Jordan, Hope, Benjamin, Andrew. There's Milo, Claire, Elena, Lucas, Sel Sawyer, Charlotte, Hobbs. Oh, here's Ezra, Irene, Sarah, David, Clara, Grace, Ruth, Marie, and their family, like James and Philip and Violet, and my special friend, Declan. All these pastors and all these moms and dads and people that love us. We are so glad God made them and so glad that they love us. But most of all, we're glad that Jesus loves us. 
we talked about the gift of prayer and how we can pray for mommies and for babies and and say thank you for playing and eating and singing. And today we're going to talk about loving others. What are ways we can love others? Let's see. I wrote down using kind words. That's kind of hard to do. We could say things like, will you be my friend? That's a kind word. Or we could be a good friend and hand things to people by sharing our toys or giving them hugs. We can forgive and listen and help out around the house. We can follow directions when mommy or daddy asks us to do something. Even if our brother or sister needs help, we can help them. We can say thank you. That's one of the most important things we can do for God. So many ways that we can keep praying. I'm hoping that you will keep praying at your house long after we're done with our focused vacation Bible school. Let's do one of those say back prayers. Can you rub your hands together like me and get ready to pray? Remember, I'm going to say the line and then you say it after me. But before we do that, I want you to remember that you can talk to God anytime, about anything, anywhere, and he will listen. I've had fun praying with you in lots of different places, and I want to keep you focused on your forever friend. So remember to pray, and when I see you, maybe I'll see you in Bible Land. Maybe I'll see you around the church. You can ask me about Ollie. He comes to worship too. He's a big part of Bible Land. Take care, and remember, you can always come to God in prayer. So here's our, our say back. You say it after me. Remember, I'll put my hand up, and it'll be your turn to pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Please help us to love people the way that Jesus loves us. Help us make good choices to share our toys and hugs Listen when others talk. Help us follow directions. And say thank you. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name. Yeehaw, partners! I'm glad you're back! We've been waiting for you. We want to talk a little about all this Vacation Bible School and focusing on God and how we journey with God. Well, in Jesus, and because he's the one who started the journey of faith, he's going to end the journey of faith, and he's going to be your friend forever. And so, we want to kind of remind you what we have been doing. Remember, we got... My friends, Pastor Vicki and Pastor Sarah and Vicar Anna here. And together, we're going to share with you what we've talked about all week long. Every single day. What did we start? I can't remember Monday. What did we talk about on Monday? On Monday, we talked about how we focus on what you can see. see. <laughs> and what do you see? Lots of creation. All of God's creation is what we see, including you. Yeah. And on day two... two. We focused on you can hear from God. Adriana? Yeah, so we talked about the story that um, the wise man built his house on the rock, right? Because he listened to God and the foolish man didn't listen to God and he built his house on the sand and it crumbled down. And we talked about the ways that we can hear God. You guys remember this right here? God, I hear you when, and then we told stories. And we hear God in Scripture, right? Yes, absolutely. And that's what we build our life on, is yep. all the promises of Scripture. And on day three, three, we talked about how you can talk with others about what you believe. Oh, my goodness. And we all believe something a little bit different, right? We all had different ideas of who Jesus mm -hmm. is. And when we started sharing that, it really made Jesus all the bigger. So you can tell your stories and tell people everything you believe about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Just talk about him, right? Amen. 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 And on day four, four, we talked about how you can pray 
anytime, anywhere, about anything. And we also talked about using the prayer path. Remember, we talked about following a pattern to help us so we can praise God and apologize and we can give thanks and we can also ask for help. But don't forget to listen to God. And on day five, we focused on you can live for God by loving others. Mm -hmm. How did we do that? Well, we baked cookies earlier, right? And I wrote a letter and we sent pictures in the mail to people that don't have text messaging and can't receive our cookies. And Pastor Jim had a really interesting way of receiving love. Yeah. My horse Buck loves me. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. And we were supposed to love our neighbors, neighbors. As, as ourselves. ourselves. Yeah. That's exactly right. It has been an amazing week. It's been so it much fun. We've had lots yes, of fun. We hope you've had fun. And we're glad that you came. That's exactly right. Should we end in a prayer? What do you ladies and gentlemen think? Or cowboy think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll pass to All right, give your hands a shaky shake. Let's pray to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this awesome week that we've had. We've learned so much about how you are our friend. And when you are our friend, we want to talk to you. And we want to see you everywhere. And we want to hear from you. And we want to tell others about you. And when we do all that, we live love and we live you out in our world. And we are so grateful that you love us like you do. So be with my friends out there, all the boys and girls who tuned in this week and all their parents and friends and relatives and all these pastor friends of mine. Bless them and let them feel your love today and always. In your name we pray, amen. amen. See you later. Bye, guys. Hope, Hope you enjoyed the